Test, test. Oh my god. I just knocked over all my recording equipment. When you're building a game like Zombie Survivor, you're likely to run into a few errors, you know, here and there. So now when I click start and I play my game, what you're gonna see is that I can shoot, oops, that didn't work. Okay, good. So let's try that out real quick. And what we're gonna see is that this works, except, oop, nope, that does not work. What's going on here? And then if we look at what that looks like real quick, uh, that looks like we shoot the zombie and they disappear. Wait, what? Oh, and we shoot the zombie and, oh no, they still disappear. Why did they just disappear? And so we can put it right here after the go to. And now when we click start, it breaks everything. Why? So now if I start this and we run into our zombie, Perfect, uh, kind of, except she keeps doing it over and over again. Okay, so then when I click start, and we start our game, whoa. That's not right. You'll also probably break everything at least once, maybe a couple of times. Okay, wait, a lot of things are broken, just a minute. We're just gonna switch it to left, right. And so now she'll just flip, oops. And so now, whoa. Oh, wait. I messed this up. Just a minute. I broke everything. And you may have to do a little bit of restarting. I don't really like how this looks, though. I think I should have done this the other way. Yeah, let's just restart this process. Ooh, so much work. All right, we're just gonna start this over again. Actually, let me replace this real quick with an if else. Actually, here, let me just redo it. Okay. So let me redo some of this code, I guess. If we are, uh, if our walking animation number is greater than, if our costume number is greater than, or sorry, if our costume number is less. So if our costume number, this is the problem with this. You need to, was it there or not there? Cause now I don't remember and it's really frustrating. And let's not forget the hours of debugging. Why, yeah, wait, why? Wouldn't just repeating it until? Oh no, you repeat the welcome music until it's no longer welcome. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is actually not what I wanted it to do. One second. Because they, they, yeah, these cut so smoothly. How do they do it? How did I do that? Broadcast change. Oh, dumb. It seems to be working, although the first one seems to lose two ammo. So let's see, maybe I made a mistake in my costumes. I did not make a mistake in my costumes. What went wrong there? Oh, weird. It's four. Why is this showing three? It's four shows four. Oh, 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 oh. I can't do it by name. That's so stupid. If an integer just goes straight to. Why would Scratch do this this way? This is so dumb. That, this, this is what you get with weakly typed languages. This is dumb. I hate it. I want my strong typing back. You can say when integers can just be whatever they want. You get crazy nonsense like this. Fine, I guess I have to do the plus ones. Okay. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Just a second. Zero minus damage is two. Their health is six. Is their health not six? It's four. It should not be four. This is not correct. You're telling me zombie health is four? Just a minute. That, that cannot be true. And let's see how that works. So if I start my game, we should get some crates falling. There's one. And then we go over. Oops, that's weird. What am I missing? Isn't it AG speed or current speed? Yeah. Is that not the same thing? Oh, okay. So here's the problem. The problem is that I created, when I created the XPOS crate. Okay, gotcha. Oh my God, I have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> oh no. To check if we're facing to the left, the left is, is always going to be a negative number. Um, oh wait, is it? So the other thing I want to do is delete all the clones. So. How do I do that? One second. I, I coughed right when the mic turned on. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's do it. Um, yeah, this should be good. Okay, yeah, and chill down. <sighs> hey everyone, so in the video today, we're gonna be... Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so this, so everybody knows. Okay, let's start with, let's start with... Um... So in today's video, we're gonna be implementing the final part of our uh, 
zombie shooter survival game. Um, and we're going to be doing implementing some game progression with dynamic experience.